Hey what is going on guys, this is Gotta Love Cotter Semsker and today I just wanted to bring you guys a part 2 slash update to the video I brought you guys a couple days ago. In that video I discussed Scuff versus Cinch and I pretty much just decided the fact that Cinch was a little bit better for the price. I felt that you aren't going to have to send your controller in, I felt that they were super durable, uh, shipping was pretty good and I overall gave them a great review felt like the buttons were perfect, the quality of the controller was good, and really the only flaw I had was the fact that they gave me two X buttons rather than X on the left and a circle on the right. So um, other than that, I thought Cinch was amazing, and I pretty much take all of that back. Um, that same night, or the same day the video went up, that night, um, I was playing some Destiny, casually playing, whatever, and I noticed that the buttons stopped working. I was like, what the fuck? Um, they sometimes they would work sometimes they wouldn't and I just kept clicking it and clicking it if you guys follow me on Twitter You would know I went on a huge rant there um, I'll post the video that I posted on Twitter just displaying the fact that it wouldn't work um, I'll put that on screen now, but uh, it, it just wouldn't fucking work. I, I don't really know I was completely puzzled. I didn't drop it the controllers in mint condition if you look at it um, it, there's not a scratch on it, nothing. It's literally in flawless condition. I have no idea why it stopped working. And I was like, you know what, one button, it's whatever. I guess that's probably why they gave me two X buttons. So I start using the other button and the same thing happens like an hour, 30 minutes later. <laughs> These two controller companies, man, I don't even know what to do anymore. Um, I, pretty much every controller company has fucked me in some way, except for Battle Beaver Customs. Um, I sent my broken scuff to them and they shipped it out, or I shipped it to them, they received it and shipped it back. I got the controller, all of this process, the repair, everything, all in a week flat. So um, they did a great job with that. I did give them like a small shout out in my other video. Um, they're a relatively small company, but I think they do great business and um, I do recommend them totally but I think the next controller I'm gonna have to get now uh, I mean that cinch is pretty much useless so I do not recommend cinch uh, they fucked up the order and they pretty much did a terrible job with everything their durability I guess that's a myth I don't really know but um, I'm pretty salty about that there goes two hundred dollars down the drain and I don't really know what to do anymore so uh, I'm gonna use the shit out of this scuff that I have that was repaired by Battle Beaver um, as long as it like works I'm gonna keep using it and after that I'll probably have to go with Battle Beaver because I guess that's the only company that makes a good quality product around here so um, I just wanted to give you guys a small update I didn't want to misinform anybody with that last video so I feel like it's my duty to make a part two and inform you guys on the situation so I hope you guys did enjoy uh, if you like the video like the video and I'll see you later peace